10 years ago in the NBA, there was a whole nother landscape. Kobe Bryant was MVP of the NBA, the Big Three Celtics had just won the NBA championship running through Kobe Bryant and the Lakers, and Kevin Durant just finished his rookie season by winning Rookie of the Year. A lot has changed since then. We now have an all-star NBA team called the Golden State Warriors, LeBron now plays for the Lakers, and superstars are now teaming up left and right to win rings. One of the things that also changed since 2008 is recruiting with the film available at the tip of your fingers. Let's check out the recruiting class of 2008 and see where they are today. What's up YouTube, it's your boy SD back with another banger. Before we start, I want to give a shout out to KTO as he made a video about the 2008 football recruiting class and that video will be in the link in the description. Number 10, Willie Warren. Warren was a 6'4 shooting guard out of Fort Worth, Texas. He decided to commit to Oklahoma University and play alongside Blake Griffin. He had a good freshman year with a projected lottery pick that draft. He decided to stay though because he thought he could improve his draft stock since Blake Griffin was leaving. His sophomore year, he did increase his scoring and assists per game, but his efficiency went down. That season, he also had injury issues and had arthroscopic ankle surgery at the end of the year. Also, he was suspended for misconduct. He ended up being drafted in the second round of the 2010 NBA draft with the 54th pick by the Los Angeles Clippers. After spending his rookie season in the D-League, he decided to go overseas. He bounced around teams overseas until 2018 when he made his return to the G-League. On March 23rd though, he was cut after 3 games in the league and is a free agent league currently. Man. Number 9, Scotty Hobson. Scotty Hobson was a 6'7 shooting guard out of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. He decided to commit to the University of Tennessee and ended up spending 3 seasons there. His freshman year was pretty lackadaisical with him only averaging about 9 points per game, but by senior year he ended up building his way up and was averaging 17 points per game. In 2011 he decided to enter the draft but he ended up going undrafted. For the next few seasons up until 2014 he bounced around playing for different European teams. In 2014 he was signed by the Cleveland Cavaliers but demoted to the G League team. He ended up getting traded through multiple teams multiple times and a bunch of deals to fill up teams for cash considerations and move players around to clear up salary. Finally he ended up going back over to Europe and spending another 4 years there until he got signed by the Dallas Mavericks. The Dallas Mavericks signed him to a 10 day contract but he ended up not getting re-signed. In 2017 he did try to make a return to US basketball playing for the Big 3 tournament. He ended up getting his team to the second round but they ended up getting knocked out. And right now he's a free agent probably gonna end up going back over to Europe. Number 8, DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan was another 6'7 shooting guard but instead out of Compton, California. He ended up coming to his hometown team of the University of Southern California. He only spent one year there but it was very successful. He ended up being named to the Pac-10 All-Freshman team when he was there. He also ended up winning the Pac-10 tournament being named MVP with the finals win over Arizona State University. He had such a successful time there, he ended up being picked in the 2009 NBA draft with the 9th pick by the Toronto Raptors. He had a good career with Toronto when playing 9 seasons there. At the end of his 9 seasons, he ended up being the leader in minutes played, games played, field goals made, and free throws made. He also was named to 4 NBA All-Star teams, an All-NBA 2nd team in 2018, and an All-NBA 3rd team in 2017. During his time there, he ended up getting a gold at the Rio Olympics. Recently, DeRozan was traded for Kawhi Leonard to the San Antonio Spurs. He's entering his 10th season in the NBA and more great things to come from him. Number 7, Tyler Zeller. Tyler was a 7 foot center out of Washington, Indiana. He ended up having a great achievement there winning Mr. Indiana his senior year of high school. Mr. Indiana was an achievement going to the best high school player in the state of Indiana. He ended up getting praise from Roy Williams and ended up committing to the University of North Carolina. At the University of North Carolina, he ended up spending 4 years there but won a national championship his freshman year. With that team he didn't have much of a role on, so he ended up blossoming over his next 4 years to become a great player. He was named ACC Player of the Year in his senior year and was named first team all ACC. He ended up entering the draft that year in 2012 and being selected with the 17th pick by the Dallas Mavericks. He was immediately traded to Cleveland. He ended up spending 2 years in Cleveland starting at center. After that he was traded to the Boston Celtics to clear up cap space to bring LeBron home. After 3 years there he was traded to the Brooklyn Nets. He ended up spending one season in Brooklyn before being traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. Currently, Tyler plays for Milwaukee, entering his seventh season in the NBA with more to come. Number 6, Jamichael Green. Jamichael was a 6'9 power forward out of Montgomery, Alabama. He ended up going to the University of Alabama and ended up spending four years there. He ended up making improvements in scoring from his freshman to sophomore year, going from 10 points per game to about 14. He also made improvements his junior year going from 14 points per game to 15 and being named to the first team All-SEC. He ended up taking a step back his senior year though being named to the second team All-SEC and went back to 14 points per game. This had a reflection on his draft stock and he ended up going undrafted. 
He ended up spending the next two years in the D-League before being offered a contract in 2014 by the San Antonio Spurs. He signed with the Spurs but was later waived sending him back to the D-League. In January 2015 he had another 10 day contract with the Spurs, but this time he didn't get through either. He ended up getting sent back down to the D-League but he ended up getting snagged by the Memphis Grizzlies. They signed him to a 10 day contract like what they got and signed him to a multi year extension. To this day he's still playing for the Memphis Grizzlies and going to play for them in the next upcoming season. Number 5. BJ Mullins BJ was a 7 foot center of Canal Winchester. He ended up committing to Ohio State University. His freshman year there, he was named to the Big Ten All-Freshman team and won Big Ten Sixth Man of the Year. After his freshman year, he declared for the draft. He was a projected first round pick and was selected 24th overall by the Dallas Mavericks in the 2009 NBA Draft. On draft night, his rights were traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder. He ended up spending the first two years in the D-League. He ended up spending the beginning half of the lockout shortened season in Greece and by the time the season started, he came back over. He got traded to the Charlotte Bobcats and ended up joining the Los Angeles Clippers the following year. Midway through the season with the Clippers though he was traded to the Philadelphia 76ers. After that, the next 4 years he spent the years overseas or playing for the D-League. Currently he plays for the Lakeland Magic in the D-League and is going to be playing there moving forward. Number 4. Drew Holiday Drew Holiday was a 6'4 point guard or he could also play shooting guard out of Chatsworth, California. He decided to commit to his hometown university of UCLA. He only spent one year there, but once again, it was also successful like many other people on this list. He was named to the Pac-10 All-Freshman team. After his one year, he decided to declare for the 2009 NBA Draft. He was selected 17th overall by the Philadelphia 76ers. He ended up playing four years there before being traded. When his last year there in 2013, he was selected to the NBA All-Star Game. And then on 2013 on draft night, he was traded to the New Orleans Pelicans. He ended up spending his next five years there and is currently playing there today. Last season in 2018, he was named to the All-NBA First Defensive Team. He currently plays for the Pelicans today and is going to be entering his 10th season in the NBA. Number 3. Tyreek Evans Tyreek was a 6'6 small forward slash guard out of Ashton, Pennsylvania. He decided to commit to the University of Memphis and play under John Calipari. John decided to play him guard and started him as shooting guard. After being unsuccessful, after 11 games, he slimmed to point guard. After he was slid to point guard, he was very successful. He ended up finishing the season named Conference USA Freshman of the Year in the first team All-Conference USA. He was also the only freshman to be named to the Naismith National Player of the Year finalist. After his one year there at Memphis, he decided to enter the NBA Draft. He was selected 4th overall by the Sacramento Kings in the 2009 NBA Draft. He had a successful rookie year. He won NBA Rookie of the Year, was named to the All-NBA Rookie First Team, and he was also NBA Rookie Challenge Co-MVP. But after that rookie year, he ended up declining for the next four years. In 2013, the Sacramento Kings finally decided to champion the New Orleans Pelicans, but in New Orleans, he kept declining. He ended up playing four more seasons there before being traded back to Sacramento. In Sacramento, he didn't get much better either. In 2017, he decided to join the Memphis Grizzlies on a prove it $3.3 million contract, and he did end up proving it. He scored 19 points per game with the second highest points per game total since his rookie year. Then he decided to get a $12 million contract from the Indiana Pacers and has joined them for the upcoming season. Number 2. Samarado Samuels Samarado was a 6'9 power forward out of Newark, New Jersey. He played for St. Benedict's Prep and ended up deciding to commit to the University of Louisville. He spent two years at Louisville and decided to enter the draft after his sophomore year. His sophomore year, he led the team in scoring and was averaging 15 points per game. He ended up going undrafted but would join the Chicago Bulls in the 2010 NBA Summer League. But instead of signing with the Bulls, he got a 3 year, $2.3 million contract with the Cleveland Cavaliers. He ended up spending the next 3 years there but bounced between the D League and the NBA. Finally, in 2013, the Cleveland Cavaliers decided to cut him. After that, he spent several stints in the D League and overseas in Europe. Currently, he plays for Limoges CSP in the French League. He's going to be playing there for the upcoming season. Number 1. Brandon Jennings Brandon was a 6-1 point guard of Oak Hill Academy in Virginia. He was initially set to join USC and then Arizona, but decided to go overseas instead. Since an in NBA to enter the draft, he needed to be 19 and one year removed from high school, he ended up playing in Italy for one season to make some money. After playing the one year in Italy, he headed back over to the NBA to go join the draft. In the 2009 NBA draft, he was selected 10th overall by the Milwaukee Bucks. His rookie year was a success with him dropping 55 points in the game, taking the record for most points by a rookie in the game from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar from the Milwaukee Bucks. That season, he was named to the All-NBA Rookie First Team. He ended up spending four years in Milwaukee and ended up breaking his foot his sophomore year. In 2013, though, he was traded to the Detroit Pistons. In his second year in Detroit, though, he tore his Achilles tendon and ended up missing the rest of the season. In the 2015-2016 season, he ended up starting in the D-League and ended up joining the Detroit Pistons towards the end of the year. 
In 2016, at the trade deadline, he ended up being traded to Orlando Magic. After his year with Orlando, though, they didn't decide to re-sign him, and in July 8th, he decided to join the New York Knicks. After uh, joining the New York Knicks, he ended up being waived in February 27, 2017. He ended up joining the Washington Wizards to help him try and get in the playoffs. That offseason, though, in 2017, he ended up joining China's league and ended up playing for one season there. After the season, he went back to the NBA and started in the D-League for the Wisconsin Herd. And on March 11, 2018, he finally made his return to the NBA, joining the Milwaukee Bucks once again. He finally got a multi-year contract on April 1st and will be playing for the Milwaukee Bucks in the upcoming season. So there you go, that's what happened to the top 10 recruits in the 2008 basketball recruiting class. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get a notification for when I post. And I'm out!